So in my first video, I talked about my pain points and some of the storage goals that I have in mind and how being a YouTuber with a full-time job is racking up some serious storage space. And if you want to check out that video, you can definitely click the link up here to watch that video. So unlike traditional storage system, NAS storage or NAS storage servers are storage devices that have an active internet connection to your internet, hence the name Network Attached Storage. So the beauty of it is that once it's connected to the internet, you can access it anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection and also some configurations. So I'm personally a very organized person and I like my storage to be organized properly as well. So I've created storage segmentation for my work documents and another storage location for all my YouTube videos and another storage area for my family storage so I can store some of my family photos, some of the family videos that I have. So the beauty of using a NAS server like the Synology is that you have access to your storage just like you're on another PC. They come with their own operating system where you can easily navigate around and configure your NAS server. To create any segments of folders to segregate your files, all you gotta do is go into the file station, create a new share folder, put in the name of your folder and you can even set up how much dedicated storage you want to assign for that particular folder and you're good to go. For my editing work, since I often work off sites, my immediate goal is for me to be able to download my videos straight off the NAS server and onto my local drive. For my specific use case, since I mainly edit 4K videos, I still think that it is best for me to have the files on my local drive on my laptop itself. Plus, now that I move around, I don't have the options to directly edit off my NAS server. You Usually, if you want to edit off your NAS itself, it would be best if you have a 10 gigabit LAN port directly connected to your PC or your laptop so that you can edit fast enough. If you only have a 1 gigabit LAN port, for example, on the Synology DS920 Plus, then you can only edit directly off your NAS for up to 1080p smoothly. Anything else above 1080p, it's best that you have a 10 gigabit LAN. And ultimately, once I complete my video project, I export my video and immediately export them into my NAS server. And in that case, it serves as a backup. And secondly, I can directly upload them to YouTube from there without having the same copy inside my laptop itself because output videos are also fairly big. And because my videos is in the middle range of eight to 10 minutes, sometimes 11, 12 minutes, Minutes, that will give it about 5 to 10 gigabytes per video. So it's good that I can very quickly upload them into my NAS server and also upload them into YouTube directly from there. So ultimately, I'm really happy that I have the Synology NAS as my storage solution now and I cannot imagine going back to the time where I have to carry around hard drives and pen drives and memory cards uh, just so that I can edit my videos on the go. So now, as long as I have an internet connection, I'm always going to have my files on hand. So if you want to learn more about the DS920 Plus and how you should go about buying your first NAS server, definitely check out the next video in this series.